Arm ones up from their nap. Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah? Yeah. Playing with your turtle. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're all doing well. Today is an exciting day because we can finally talk to you about something that has, that's been happening behind the scenes for a little while. Um, specifically something that happened whilst we were away in the Philippines. And I know we mentioned it a few times before we went and some of you may remember that in the vlogs, but we didn't really go into much detail about it. And, and you've probably got an idea what I'm talking about if you are a regular viewer of the vlogs. When we knew that we were gonna be going to the Philippines for the length of time we went for, we thought, hmm, this could be a good opportunity to do something in the house that we don't have to be there for and therefore can not be involved in any of the mess, in any of the stress, in any of the drama, and we could just take a back seat for once with a renovation project. I've already given you a big clue in the background of this intro, but basically we had our kitchen completely ripped out and redone whilst we were away. So the house is looking very different. Our good friend Zach is a person who visited it and he was in and out every single day whilst we weren't here and we had other people and we had plumbers, we had electricians, we had plasterers, and I'm gonna quickly talk you through what we had done and then show you a proper tour of the kitchen. You've probably seen bits of it here and there throughout videos recently anyway, but it's super exciting and we're so pleased with it. So I'm gonna put some before footage in now of the kitchen when we first moved in. This house was built in the 70s and we had a very, what felt small and dark kitchen. The cupboards were dark brown wood, the knobs were like a uh, like a grey colour I think, I can't even remember. There were these massive um, pretty ugly tiles on the floor and the tiles on the walls actually had little like pictures of leaves or something, I don't even remember. Teapots I think. Teapots maybe? Teddy bears or something? I don't really know. And it was very dark in here, it was a black sink but not like a nice modern black sink, it was like a kind of old dirty it's brown, black sink. I think. Brown, yeah. There was Artex on the ceiling. So the first job we had was to rip out, and I actually did a lot of that on my own. George helped, didn't you? Or did I do it? I can't really remember. It's like, it feels like forever ago. And we were taking the kitchen shelves down. We had our friend Zach come and get all the big bits out, like the appliances. And then literally, I'm not even joking, the morning we left to go to the Philippines, we had our flight booked for like, I think we left Worthing around 2 p.m. And that morning, Zach came in and carried on and sort of started pulling out the kitchen sink and stuff. So we didn't have a sink the morning we left and we didn't have an oven or anything. So it was like even more to organise before going away because we knew this work was starting. The electrician came in that evening. So we were literally flying over England as the electrician was fitting the spotlight. So it's crazy how how much change. I had the plaster come in and plaster all the walls and the ceiling. The electrician put the spotlights in and also all the plugs were in very random places. So there was like plugs high and low, there were things that are on display that don't need to be and they've all been put underneath into the cupboards now. And this is how it's looking right now. So we're super, super pleased. We've gone for the brightest options possible to make this room feel a bit bigger. It's not tiny, but it's not like the biggest kitchen. We didn't have space for an island or anything like that. But if we like walk around a bit, you can see like, you're quite far away from me right now. We went for this beautiful worktop, which is like, there's a word for it, it begins with a T, I can't remember, but it's like this kind of cementy, concretey, speckled look. Um, and we went also for the thinner, the thinner edge, which I think looks a bit nicer these days, a bit more 2023. So super happy with that. We've gone for white cupboards. Oh yeah, some lights would be nice. Ding! And the other lights, baby? Is that better or worse? That's better. Okay, um, yeah. We were going to paint the walls a colour, we thought, but then we were like, mm, let's stick with white. If we want to change it in the future, we can, but right now it's the brightest, the freshest kitchen ever, and it just feels so ideal for like spring, summer. We're so happy with it. Next, I'll talk to you about the handles, because we've gone for these beautiful, they're called Antique Brass, and they're by a company called Plank, and I'm going to leave them linked below. They actually very kindly sent us these, and these ones as well. So these handles are... These are for the cutlery drawers and anything with like a longer, like a drawer cupboard. And they're so nice, but I mean, you can't feel the quality from watching a YouTube video, but they're super heavy. And we just love the color of them. It's a bit different. We didn't want bright gold. We didn't want like the classic silver. This is somewhere in the middle and we love how dark they are because it's, it's a feature that really stands out against the white in here. We went for another meter long cutlery drawer, which we loved in our old kitchen. And we're just really, really happy with how it's, how and it's turned out. this is all soft clothes. Oh. So nice. nice. Yeah. Although you didn't actually close it enough. <laughs> 
the bins all built in and stuff. Everything's a bit neater in this kitchen. Uh, we were going to get a fridge freezer built in, but we already had this. It's already white, and I think it was going to be another like three grand to have it built into the cupboards because the big unit, uh, the big cupboard units would be quite expensive. And then obviously you're paying for the appliances again. So we were like, we'll just put this in the hole. It just makes a bit more sense. Um, we're going to change this door at some point. This is like the last remaining part of this older kitchen so the plan is to change that but it's quite handy to have a door there we were considering putting the worktop all, all over it to get more worktop space but then actually you'd have lost a lot of floor space and having that side access is quite handy then the tiles we're very very happy with so two types of tile we've got these ones here the white squares and they're all a little bit individual they're a bit rough on the edges and they're kind of bumpy slightly not bumpy like what's the word not flat Bumpy makes it sound like they're full of bumps. They're like textured. textured, like a slight raised part to them. Yeah, you can see here, like they're they they're, they're like handmade. Yeah, and they're from Tile Mountain. Again, very kindly sent to us, as well as the floor tiles. So yeah, let's look down on the floor now. These are very very nice tiles. Oh, right, I'm on the floor. In this, hmm, what colour is it? It's like a beige beigey kind of concrete look and we've got the grey grout because if we'd gone with white I think it would have stood out a bit too much so the grey grout and these are non-slip as well so that's obviously good in the kitchen and we just love how they look they're ginormous tiles they're so so heavy we brought them in and we like that the shape's rectangular as well not like the classic square so we've got different textures and different shapes and stuff in here which makes like the classic white kitchen that can be a bit more boring I think it's a bit more interesting having these different like um different textures and stuff then we've got our pride and joy, our coffee station, with our lovely, well-travelled, our world-travelling coffee machine. You mean um, dying coffee machine? Yeah, it's on its way out, I think. It keeps doing things it shouldn't do, so we might need to replace it at some point. But there's too many memories, I wouldn't want to actually get rid of it. Uh, and we've got some shelves up here. We've got these lovely wooden shelves that we've popped bits on, like coffee-themed things, so we can just grab like the scales and stuff and the distributor while we're making coffee. So it's just this like, purposeful, area that is just for coffee instead of like faffing around the whole kitchen which we're really pleased we had space for if you're wondering why this is the biggest cupboard in the world it's because it is this is our secret it's our ugly cupboard which we'll call it basically the boiler had to go here so because it had to be fitted a bit lower than normal we had to get cupboards that were really long basically to cover it but it does mean we've got a ginormous cupboard here which we can use and then this has been like a random storage cupboard that's quite handy just to shove things in and we actually managed to box around all the pipes so yeah. this it comes out right no 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 oh, is no, it, is it, it all sealed out. in now it's sealed in oh right okay if fine. you need access to it i'm not sure why you have i don't word. i don't but if anyone needs access to it you need to just cut the silicon right and then okay. you can take it out and then reseal yeah, it but you can yeah see all the <laughs> all the pipes behind there <laughs> literally about to rip out part of the kitchen and then this is a glass cupboard and mugs and things so nice and easy next to the tap and the coffee station hopefully it will like make sense where you're going we've tried to make it so that it flows really nicely then we've got dishwasher the under sink storage and a washing machine in here uh, and then this beautiful white sink, it's a composite sink. And then the tap is again from Plank, so it's the exact same material as the handles. So it all matches really, really nicely. Again, very, very happy with it. Lovely. The quality of this is just yeah, so nice as really well. Really lovely. And then we've got another little station -y thing up here just for like displaying things and cake stand, teapot, little mattress station up there. Some fresh herbs, a candle, little washing up bits. Yeah, that's it. That was a longer tour than I imagined it to be, considering it's a small kitchen, but we're super happy with it. Let us know in the comments what you think, what your favourite part is, what your least favourite part is. But there's no going back now, we've done it. Oh, wait, <laughs> we forgot something. There is another light there. Yes, an extractor fan. Anyway, I'm enjoying my coffee. George, you need to make a coffee, don't you? Yes, I do. So I did a little thing in the vlog the other day, the other week, I don't know when it was, where I basically, in the time it took me to make one cup of coffee, I had caught you up on our whole life over the last few weeks. So I thought, what if we do a section in the vlog where we do that kind of thing again in that format, by the time I make a cup of coffee, we can learn something together or we can think about a, a small mini topic just for this section of the vlog where I make a cup of coffee because I film making coffee so often, but instead of you just watching it, why don't we think about something at the same time? Let me know if that's a good idea, I don't know. Just one of my crazy thoughts. So on this episode 001, that's me assuming there's gonna be like a hundred or more of these. Episode 001, I want to quickly, while I'm making my coffee, 
Talk about procrastination and putting things off that you've been meaning to do. Putting things off that you've told yourself, like no one's told you to do this thing, you've, you want to do it, but you just don't, or you're not, or you're putting it off. For example, me yesterday, I found time or created time. I'm a big believer that we all use the um, excuse of not having enough time to actually not do things that we don't want to do. I created time in my day to wash the car by hand myself. And I've been putting that off for so long because I didn't want to do it. But when I did it, I felt good afterwards. So what I want you all to do is comment below. And if as many people as possible can do this, that would actually be so cool because then we can all read the comments and we can all kind of inspire each other and push ourselves along. Comment below one job that you want to do. Not even job, like it doesn't even have to be something that you have to do. It could be something that you've been wanting to do. Like I love rollerblading, but my roller skates have been in the garage for months and I haven't touched them. I, I don't have time. It could be something like that. It could be I have a piano in my house and I, my passion is playing piano, but I haven't played in three weeks because I haven't had the time or I've been doing other things. Whatever it is, comment it below and then put under your comment, I am going to do it this week or I will do it, I will do this this week or something like that. Just to have that affirmation that we can then hold ourselves accountable. Mine this week is getting back in the gym. Since I had my tongue thing, which I mentioned in another vlog, had part of the underneath of my tongue removed. If you missed that vlog, I explained the whole thing. I'm still kind of recovering. And it's meant I haven't been able to go to the gym for about a month. But realistically, in the last two or three days, I probably could have gone back to the gym, but I haven't. I've made excuses. I've gone to bed early. I've had like a beer on Saturday afternoon. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna go to the gym after having a beer. Decisions that won't really benefit me long term. So that is mine, going back to the gym, and I'm gonna do it, I'm hoping tonight, million percent this week, I've said it on vlog now, so it has to happen. Just imagine the effects that it could have for a second. I don't know how many views, we never know how many views each video will get, but let's say it's in the tens of thousands, and a couple of thousand people have listened to what I've been saying, and actually do something that they've been putting off. Imagine the impact of that. Now, there's now suddenly thousands more people doing something productive or something they enjoy, bettering ourselves in some way. I think that's awesome. So, nearly finished making my coffee. I hope you've all had a think about something you've been putting off, something that you're definitely gonna do this week because you've commented now, you've promised, and I will, on the next episode, 002, come back with some more wisdom. But for now, coffee is made, gonna enjoy this. And I look forward to reading all of your comments below. Mm. Um, <laughs> are you saying bye bye to your food? Mom? Mom? This is a, re <laughs> the reality. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't worry guys, when you um, see all the nice moments, don't forget. Just because we don't put this kind of stuff in the vlog usually. Bye buddy. Bye bye. What's daddy got? Camera. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. We do Baby. still have food all over the floor. Bye, bye, bye. Luckily we have wooden floors. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye, bye. yeah, we've got wooden floors. Yeah. Can you say hi? Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Show them what you do at swimming. Can you say vlog? Yeah? Okay, That's, I like it. You don't have to prove it to anyone, do you? Can you say vlog? Yeah, I could. <laughs> so I'm guessing this doesn't help with the ant problem. We might have figured what the problem was, yeah. <laughs> I better clean this up. Three times a day, isn't it? Yeah. Snacks, so yeah. <laughs> if we miss one crumb, then... Yeah, you're the baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Just been to my mum and dad's house to pick up some furniture that they're getting rid of. They're having a huge clear out and we are still in need of furniture in this house. So I've got me an ottoman. Oh, one second. An ottoman. Yes. A little bit creaky, a little bit old school. However, it's in good, I'll say it's in good condition. It's, I would say this is kind of rustic. 
I've changed t-shirts by the way because the t-shirt I was wearing was brand new and I didn't want to be lifting old dusty furniture. No offense, mum and dad. Yeah, this was in the old family, the old Warrington family home. So I don't think it's gonna go here. I'm not sure where it's gonna go. Also got this bookshelf, which again, is not gonna live here, but this might go in Coda's room. We can put some books on it, some toys. We've been really getting into the idea of free or the least expensive furniture possible because we've, I said this recently, we've always bought new furniture. Like this table was expensive. The sofa was expensive. There's some key things that we really like buying new, but for example, this bookshelf, if you saw the vlog the other day, me and my dad going to pick this up, didn't charge us anything that people selling this. And now we've got a few more key bits of furniture around the house that is just what this place is needed. The next step is like getting some mirrors on the wall, some artwork, maybe you probably noticed that a lot of the walls are bare. We've got some ideas for this wall to make it a bit more of a feature wall with the TV. We're actually gonna get the TV up on the wall. Um, this wall's totally bare. So we have enjoyed the kind of pristine white walls, minimalistic kind of style for the house, but we wanna to start to make it a little bit more homely, a little bit more lived in, a little bit less show homey. And yeah, we're making some good steps to do that. It is hot today, boiling hot in the UK. It's like 20, I think it's like 21 degrees, which if you told us that when we were still out in the Philippines, we would have laughed, but oh. What a day, I did it. It wasn't guaranteed, but I went to the gym. It was very, very busy. Um, I'm back at my old gym now. If you remember, I had a collaboration with like a smaller gym. That sadly has come to an end. Loved my time there, such a cool place. So that's ended. I'm now back at my old gym where, which is more like a public gym, doing my own thing. So that was my first workout in, I think, over a month. So I took it easy. Didn't lift too heavy. Went in, did an hour. I'm gonna try and build that up again over the next weeks and months back to where I was and beyond. I'm actually gonna team up with a friend of mine. He wants to put me on a plan. He's a personal trainer. It's handy having friends like my friend Zach who like helped us so much with this house. Our friend Adam who helped us with the plumbing. Yeah, so handy having friends in like these areas of life where they can help you out. Obviously we compensate them, not just friends doing all this like Zach didn't just come here for fun and build, our, build most of our house for free. Yeah, maybe I'll start filming some workouts again. Maybe I'll introduce my mate, because this year is the big year with the gym. I like feel like I've got a good foundation. I'm starting at a very good place, even though I've had a month off. I feel like I haven't lost too much strength. Very, very determined. I've been getting my nutrition in order. So yeah, watch this space with the gym stuff. I'm gonna be documenting some of that on my Instagram as well, so make sure you give me a follow over there. But just wanted to end off the vlog here because Lucy and Coda are in bed, turning all the lights off, locking up. And I wanna quickly add to what I was saying about when I was making my morning coffee this morning. I read a section of my book, which is a book I've been reading for far too long. Need to finish it, need to move on, need to get back into reading. But it was a small line in my book that said something along the lines of whatever you're doing in your day, big, small, important, not important, do it with the absolute best of your ability. Before I read that, I can put, hold my hands up and say I didn't. I'm the first person to take shortcuts. I'm the first person to try and get out of stuff. I'm the first person to procrastinate and not do things well. I can have lazy tendencies. But since I've read that, I've been trying to implement that. And everything I've done today, I've done well and done to the best of my ability. My dad's very good at this. I, he does that all the time. He washes his car before it goes into the garage for a service. Because to him, that is like doing things properly and doing things well. And he wants that car, he wants the garage to think that he's looking after the car they sold him and stuff like that, when the person selling it probably doesn't even care. But little things like that, like when we picked up the shelf today, he'd, got it out and cleaned it all off for us. And he would never have given it to us like filthy and said, oh, I can't be bothered, you clean it. I can't think of any other examples, but my dad's a big inspiration in that way and a role model. And I wanna start incorporating a lot more of that. I'm trying to think of other examples. My granddad was the same as well. If, you, if there's a job that needs doing, they do it properly. Lucy's the same, so it's just me. It's, it's a me problem. Like right now, the BMW is a hybrid. I took another car to the gym, and when I got back, the BMW was parked in a different place on our front entrance kind of area where we park our cars. And it was nowhere near the charging point. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to move it. I won't bother to charge the BMW overnight. 
but that would have meant we wouldn't have had electric charge for tomorrow's driving. And even though I couldn't be bothered and I was tired, I've just been to the gym and want to get into bed. I did it, made the effort. It's a small thing, came back into the house, got the keys, moved the car around, parked it where it needed to be, plugged it in, and then I felt satisfied. So I'm gonna try and move forward in that way. All those small things that you do like that, comment below if this is you, comment below if you're already doing it or if you don't do it or if you think you're gonna start doing it like me. I think all the small things will build up to like this better experience overall and this better, you will just have to become a better version of yourself, which is what I'm all about. But I'm rambling, need to get to bed. It is only 9.30, but that's late for me these days. So I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today. Subscribe if you're new around here and we'll see you in the next vlog very, very soon. Goodbye.